Hey guys, it's Wednesday hump hump day. And boy, we got a good show for y'all tonight. Do we? we, we yeah, we're going to sip a little bourbon. Talk a little bit more about bourbon. We may even try some on there. I don't know. All our bottles look empty, so maybe not. Uh, but look, we're going to talk a little bit about some news. I got a topic for y'all. First time you heard it. Uh, what's something you wish you could tell your younger self? If you could, I want you to think about it a minute, right? Oh, I got it. Oh, what's I, got something it. You, I got it. I got it too, because I've been thinking about it. But what's something we're going to tell our younger selves? And we'll get to that in a minute. But first and foremost. <laughs> Father Fortenberry. Hey guys, Father Fortenberry here. I I missed the last episode. I I listened to just. I'll be quite honest. I think y'all better with me. <laughs> I, I did no, a lot I, of talk. I did a lot of talking last episode. I'm just kidding. It was a lot of. No, uh, we got back. Uh, we were in. Uh, we were at the beach. I went to cheerleading. Um, but long story short, we, I was out. Uh, glad to be back. Um, finally on. X. Yeah, but it was a successful cheer competition. Oh, it was yeah. highly successful. They put up some crazy numbers. Uh, yeah, if they'd only done and, that before you, I'd probably been in Orlando in a couple yeah, weeks. So I, maybe, maybe well, it saved you a lot of money. By well, they wanted us to go to Orlando uh, two weeks from now, and I, I, no, that just can't happen. <laughs> but I mean, they put up like a ninety nine as a ninety nine point four on the second day. So, so let's come back to that. I got some questions about mm, that yeah. on the beach. But look, we hadn't seen this guy in a long time, Gary. Oh, I'm on the camera. Yeah, there you are. Hey, Gary. The camera's in front of you now. Oh, that's TV. Gary. That's the TV can, up there. I can there. see up there. Gary, the TV Gary, and the camera. <laughs> Gary be popping off. He thinks the, the TV is where the camera's located yes. all the time. Uh, are you surprised by that? Yes. No. Hey, look, uh, I'm on camera, guys. <laughs> yeah, look into the camera. Tell everybody who you are, Gary. I, I, I'm Gary. Uh, maybe a little bit later, Gary Poppins may may show up. Um, but uh, Gary Poppins has never been on there. I, my favorite color is blue. Thank God. Thank God. We'll and uh, I... I do you like to sit at home and watch uh, some cartoons? No, if, no, you, if, you were told to sit at home as well. <laughs> and Bluey's a pretty good cartoon. It, it, I, all right, I'm going to say it now. But so, so you need to make sure on your YouTube you are Gary Poppins and just go on and claim that channel on YouTube. I do. I do. Okay, good. So I'm going to tell you now, good. I know y'all are older and don't have little kids. Bluey's, Bluey's extra, man. That's good stuff. It's don't got, even know Bluey. Never it's knew got Bluey. some good messages. It really does. And adults can watch it. And there's some adult jokes There's an episode there. where the dad's drunk or hung over. Yeah. yeah Bluey? Yeah. yeah. Speaking yeah. of drunk dads. <laughs> <laughs> Marty. How's things going, Marty? Oh, everything's going good. Uh, man, work's been crazy. Tell uh, everybody who you how are. How crazy? What's your channel? Oh, I'm uh, the bourbon nerd, life in the patio. Uh but let me do this how I want to do it. <laughs> Golly, y'all always trying to tell me what to do. Yeah, catch oh, him we outside. We hey, we thank y'all for watching. Uh, I think he started <laughs> drinking long before we started recording. I just popped off on you. He, he did. He's popping. Go, He's Marty. Popping. Don't stop, Marty. Don't stop now. It's Marty oh, Poppins. I ain't got nothing else to say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what's going on at work? It's been crazy. I had to go to work. That is crazy, man. <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. Man. So Gary's got it made. He doesn't have to go to work, right? Uh, I do, but I don't, but I do. Working for the man. I, We're I, working for the man. You're working for the, for the woman. woman. For the yes, woman. Sir, the woman. Yes, sir. Wh which is harder, working for the woman or working for the man? Don't answer that. Never mind. Don't answer that because the woman listens, and she will hold that against I you. Know what the, I want to know what the benefits are for the woman. I... It's probably not what you think. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's probably far from what you think. Yeah, I got a lot more special requests with the role man <laughs> than I do the man. The man, I you know, I pretty much have a daily schedule. I could, I have an idea when I go in and what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. The role man, I may get a call. Changes at, the schedule. At two thirty, bam! You got to go do this, man. And you never know when that day might I end. I don't know. I don't know. Like just today, I mean, I was I was driving. I was about to go do something. And boom, phone call. Boom, I got to move. What's, the, what, what's the weirdest thing you found in these uh, abandoned cars that you dig the around? The weirdest here? thing? Like, you were like, I could just see finding bodies or something. I mean, we do live outside they, the they, 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 Have you ever found sex toys? Uh, we found those at no, Crazy Hot Deals. I found so. that at Crazy Hot yeah, Deals. I have too. But, but yeah, uh, no, I, I mean, I find that, you know, male, you know, uh, Protection. For, look, for protection. you guys like at home. Like used or unused? <laughs> uh, usually, 
Today I found one. It was in the package. I'm going to go ahead. It's still with an expi- expiration date. What your coolest find was? We literally started the podcast, and he found that mic mm-hmm. right yeah. there the day after, or the day before, even, or the day. It of. was like the, like divine the, intervention. Yeah, it was. The, it was like God said, "Oh, yeah." It's you hit the best mic forever. Forever. I sure did. Still do. Yeah. No, it's Douglas. <laughs> Actually, you're responsible a, for that mic. It's oh, and he's responsible for Marty's mic. He's responsible for that arm over there, I believe. Responsible for this so mic. Yeah. For that mic. That's just another mic we'll use somewhere else probably in the show. But anyway, so look, uh, we'll talk about news a little bit, but what's something you wish you could tell your younger self? If there, if you could go back, if there was a time machine, like if we really get rich, like Elon Musk rich, and we build this t- Elon Musk type time machine, and you could go back in time, let's just say, tw- ooh, I'm old. Me and Marty are older than y'all. We can go back a lot further than you can, but let's go back 20 years. Now, we can go back. No, we can't go back 30. Y'all be little uh, kids. Let's go back, let's go when back we were 20 in, years. When we are in high school. How All right, about that? Let's go back to your senior year of high school. Go. All right, yeah, I got it. All right. What's something you would tell yourself? I mean, I'm gonna go, I got one first real quick. I'm going to jump on the train real quick. I said I'd wait till last, but I can't. Buy Bitcoin. That, that was my answer. Cent. I knew it was. That's <laughs> that was my answer. On. So buy Bitcoin. Buy so Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Buy yeah. Bitcoin by the truckload because when it came out, it was like 200 bucks. Man. What the hell it was? It was like a half a penny. Yep. Oh, was it that low? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. So like, take all $20 that you have in your pocket, Big <laughs> T. 1993 Big T as you're a senior with your, you actually got hair mm-hmm. and not... And all that stuff. Go buy you some Bitcoin. It wasn't out ninety three. It wasn't until like this. It's like uh, two thousand nine. Nine. I was gonna say. Six, okay, but yeah. in two thousand nine, save your twenty mm-hmm. and buy Bitcoin. Yep, that's go. my answer too. I all guess right. my new answer is uh, nineteen ninety nine. Jamie still all these Bitcoin. Bitcoin. <laughs> it didn't exist in ninety nine. Well, I, well, that's when I graduated, so I'm telling myself that. Oh, go that, steal all big teeth. Why not just yeah. go buy some Bitcoin and something else? Why don't you like come <laughs> up with Bitcoin? You know, something like that. By there. Oh, I ain't got cl- I ain't got <laughs> clue go. how that works. So I could just Gary, have an idea. Gary, Gary, what's yours? <sighs> Can I go with two things? One's advice. You say a bunch of I, them. I I'm mean, coming back around too. Okay, okay. Two. Don't things. get married. No, no, that's oh, that's good. not it. No, that that was the best thing that ever happened to me, <laughs> ever. Um, ever, 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 forever. Ah. Uh, uh, but uh, number one is. Uh, don't sweat the small things. There's a lot of things. You that know it, that's so important. It is. Looking back of how much like time I spent stressing on some small stuff that meant nothing in the grand scheme of things. Nothing. I don't even remember. You most know, of it. as I'm knocking on 50-year-old door here, Marty and I are, and unfortunately I get there before Marty, I got to say that's the one thing I feel like I've been able to do in the last probably two years, though. Yeah. Is not sweat it. Good advice. And what was your other one, Gary? Uh, my other one would be college is not that important. I I, I feel I would have told myself to go to professional school, like uh, become like an electrician or something like that. That's what I'm telling my kids. I mean, college is. Marty needs I mean, if call. you if you want to be a doctor or something, yeah, dentist, something like that, you do have to go to college. But if you, I mean, we're hurting for electricians, for plumbers, and they're making bank, son. Bank, son. HVAC, HVAC. Now. We do. Jamie was an HVAC. I know some poor HVAC people. Yeah. You know I, some l- I look ones. at a mirror every, one every day. Yeah. I know some rich ones, too, but there's... I do. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I would say... Maybe not rich. I know what? I know ones that have done well. But, All right. We got to let Marty yeah. talk, too. Go, Marty. So, Marty, you go, what would you tell yourself? Man, you ain't going to believe this. Yeah, we. I'd want a truckload of old Charter 10. <laughs> and hold on to it. Wait a minute now. Damn that's it, that's man. almost good as Bitcoin. Damn it, man. That's a good one. Cause we used to you drink know, I'm a dude, so we used to drink you would have, we would have drank all of it. You had bottles. Marty, you yeah, we might not be here. <laughs> you had bought a truckload, and we would have drank it, and bought another truckload. No, we'd, we'd have it now, and we could sell it for. No, I want you, you a bit. but we don't sell bourbon though. We don't. You think you could sit on bottles of bourbon for twenty years? Yeah, because I didn't drink bourbon back in the day. I, no. I have a bottle. I, I drank everything. I have a day. bottle I've been sitting on for about 17, 18 years. That's probably the most expensive bottle in our collections. Yep. It's that Jack Daniels I got. I don't. <laughs> if I got a bottle that old, I, I don't like it. <laughs> no, it's not like it has all the, the other stuff. What's something else? Is there something else you would tell your younger self? Mm. I love the don't pet the sweaty stuff. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I like it too. I would, I would tell my younger self, well, see, 99. So I got I got to look at my tattoo. Wrong, wrong. Your first tattoo, Jamie? We're in the year oh, which 2024. 
Uh, so I graduated in 99. My dad died in 03. My mom died uh, in 14. And I tell myself to spend a little more time with them. Yeah. Especially, I mean, like, not only like especially my dad, but hell, my dad only made it uh, three years after I was out of high school. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I tell myself to spend more time with them. Yep. Yep. I can get that. That that goes along with don't sweat the petty stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Pet the sweaty stuff. That's right. Pet it all. Yeah, look, and <laughs> along the same lines, spend spend more time with your family. Look, work is important, especially when you're younger, you're grinding it out, trying to make a name for yourself. Getting your grind But you on. can't get that time back. Nope. And if you work for a boss that simply spends too much time worrying about how much time you're at work and not at home, you're working for the wrong people. I, I heard this not too long ago, and it, it, I took it to heart. The only person that will remember you working overtime is your kids. Yep. I agree. Man. 100%. That's Gary, right yeah. Gary you're going to go for number three. You're going for a triple here. Uh, No, I, I'm good with that. I mean, if I had at least not sweat the small stuff, I would have had a lot, lot, lot less stress in my life. I probably still have all What would you here. do more of? Oh. Fishing. Oh, here we go. I would. I got one. I got one. All right. I would tell myself back in high school, go get good at golf. You know, be good at golf. I probably could have got. You would be right where you are. Right yeah, <laughs> right. Marty and I started playing I, I started in high play. school, and we're no. We're, we're I, I, didn't, I didn't you didn't play. start playing until much later. You I mean, was like, you was like was a year out of high school. I was like twenty one or twenty two. First time <laughs> it was Masters weekend when I turned twenty one. I played my first round. And yeah, I'm no better day than I was then. <laughs> I had all these visions of being like really good by fifty. Oh yeah, didn't happen. Marty, you got anything besides old chart ten? You want some pappies? Let's go back and get some pappies. Oh, back in the day, pappies. Ooh. Yeah, that'd be fine, but. <laughs> I, I'm I'm with I'm Gary. Uh, just share your bourbon with your family and friends. That's right. And uh, love your pe- love your people. Well, I mean, I think at the end of the day, we love would tell people. we would tell our younger selves, you can't get time back. That's the one thing we can't get back. Memory. Yeah, memories. So there you go. You know. I, um, Marty and I, if you listen to Monday's episode, we were gone last weekend, and we didn't get a lot of video of it, or I know I didn't. Many pi- many pictures. You know, <laughs> I told a story about me and a long-lost friend, and yes. they only got one picture of us together, and she didn't even take it. I did. But the one thing uh, Sean of Echoes of Eternity uh, Bourbon has been talking about, he said, even though you got your channel, mm-hmm. spend your life at the moment, not behind the camera. I agree with that. And a lot of the younger people spend their entire life trying to make that moment for social media. Mm-hmm. And look, we enjoyed the hell out of it. I hate you guys couldn't join us because it was quite a like, I, great I hate time. I missed it. Even I, our wives had a good time. I had a good time. Uh, well, I, we really wasn't on the beach, but uh, we, we had a hell of a time. Yeah. Yeah. It, it sounded like it was it was a lot of fun. It was a community. It was like a community of people that I seemed to care about you. You know, it was. Uh, That's an understatement. Matter of fact, this bottle right here is uh, <coughs> Elijah Craig barrel proof, private barrel, one thirty two proof. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry, but I don't know the guy that gave Somebody it. Somebody gave us. it to us. It was from Sean uh, Echoes Turdy dude. He said, "Y'all take this and drink it. Pour you up a pour." Is there a Glenn in here? Uh, Marty normally has Glenn in here, <coughs> but it's. Do, you, you do y'all feel it's really? I, I mean, I'll, really I'll drink it. Really but good. Do you guys feel like it was? Very close to tailgating, or was it more personable? Uh, better, drinking. more personal than what, tailgating. I thought it was per- more personal than tailgating because everybody, mm. Gary, you probably didn't listen to Monday, did you? No, I haven't yet. All right, there was a guy who had bottle, Woodford yeah. Double Double Oak, Double and Double was Oak, sharing it with us. Oh my gosh, that's really? love. That's community love, right there. I'm gonna there. tell you, these are the bottles we got to share. Uh, Old Fitzgerald Ten, mm-hmm. uh, Jack Daniels Twice Barrel, um. Will it purple top? Will it purple, Will it purple, top? purple top? Our buddies from Scottsdale said, "If everybody's sharing, I'm sharing." Scottsdale, These guys, Jeez. great guys, Tim from Scottsdale, he and his son were there. Look, yeah, I probably heard this story if you listen Monday. Then we got uh, RD One. We had some Heaven Hill Seventeen. We had who is RD One? I see him. No, that's not a guy. That's a bottle. <laughs> it's a, it's a, <laughs> okay, distillery. who's the guy? Who's the guy on our? Uh, that's always coming on uh, YouTube. RD One. It's R or something. Is it, is it Gandy Road? Gandy Road, probably. It's Gandy Road. We got Gandy Road. Look, all those guys. But already one of these. I'm not a perfect guy. Gary, the stuff, I couldn't believe the stuff we got to try. There There was a guy that basically was like, you walk up to him and say, I hear you got some double double. Yeah, you want to try it? And then he'd come over, he tried some of our stuff. It was just. It, it well, they'd be so upset. I'd have some uh, wild turkey <laughs> out there. No, they wouldn't care, Jamie. It'd be something. Like, they didn't care if you had nothing. No, they didn't care. <clears throat> yeah. Dragon's <clears throat> milk, honey, 
that uh, my buddy um, Ben Gillette it. had over there. Oh, so good. Right. Well, let me tell you about my trip. So we went we went to Orange Beach for uh, cheer. Um, girls did fantastic. It was a two day uh, event. We left. Oh, what we left my house uh, Friday night at eleven thirty. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> we pulled into uh, it was like six thirty. We pulled into uh, Orange Beach. I bet you were tired. So. Uh, we was tired, and uh, we'd be up and going. Uh, first team. Oh, I got some good stories too. First team went on at uh, <laughs> at eleven, I think. Jeez. So we have a uh, our our gym has a special needs uh, team. Yeah. And uh, man, they're good. They're, they're so as I watch other special teams needs, I realize special needs. To, yeah, I realize our team, the kids do stuff on their own. Mm-hmm. Other teams, people go out there and help them. Yeah. But our team, they're they're fully yeah. Doing everything on their own, and, and they do a good job. Well, um, God, you don't want to talk about feel like a piece of shit. So Saturday, we go out there. We we barely miss the uh, legends. That's what they're called. Uh, team name. Oh, that's a special team. Yeah, special. Mm-hmm. Name. So for you, those of you at home, <clears throat> tell them what the legends are because they probably don't know. I just said it. No, but that has different <laughs> meaning. But they're 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 like um, uh, yeah. special needs. Yes, what you, you know, that's what I said. Yeah, oh, did? yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Y'all had a side conversation. Yeah, y'all were talking about something else. So um, he did. <laughs> so we as we pull up uh, Saturday, we get to the uh, arena. We're looking out the, in the gate watching them. So we catch their show, but we didn't really catch a whole lot of it. And uh, Sunday, we're like. Look, we're gonna let the kids play on the beach, so we miss everybody, and we um, just make when our kids go, which now is like a dick move because when legends go on, they call, they do the uh, performance, and then they call them all on stage again, and they uh, start talking to them. Well, the uh, whoever put on the show is called Deep South. They told them they said next season. Brand new uniforms for the entire uh, Legends team. Awesome. Oh, awesome. My and a $5,000 check for them to divide it amongst yourselves however they want. Which could go to more le- lessons and Wh- whatever, practices. Yeah. And whatever stuff. they want. Yeah. That's, that's pretty so, awesome. That's so we're deep. sitting on the beach like when that's tears happening, running down our eyes. Others, do other gyms have that same type of thing? There's some. There's. Uh, I've probably, like when we go to Orlando and do really big ones, there will be four or five. And that's, I mean, that's a big uh, event. Yeah. So I mean, like the South uh, South Haven Wildcat Legends are a really good team, and then now there's no age restrictions either. So they're just all together. They're all together. Look, that's amazing. It is. Uh, that's good. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's a really good one. Then uh, so we did that Sunday, or uh, that was Sunday. The girls did fabulous. They they rocked. Uh, well, they actually scored the highest thing in the whole event. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, Monday, me and Tommy get up and take all the kids uh, <laughs> inshore fishing. Go get them on redfish. Nice. Got them on redfish. I saw that. And, and Matt. Matt hits his boat like the what's the little thing on the, the that spins around the little uh, dirt devil not dirt devil like uh, a spinner bait Tasmanian Tasmanian devil, devil. he's like uh-huh. the Tasmanian devil's boat he hits this son of a bitch and he's touching everything he can touch <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine he was unmedicated I, I think well the bed had that time to kick in oh okay. yeah. so like I think he might have went underwater and came back <laughs> up popped back but <laughs> he caught the first fish of the day uh, something they call a croaker. Um, did good though. Uh, Maddie Grace, well, that's her first time going, and uh, we that was a nice size fish you caught. Yes, yes. I've never done inshore fishing, actually, right, I've only blast. done offshore once, and it was, yeah, it, the waves. I think I've told you before, all oh, the waves were, ridiculous. yeah, I, it, was, it was great. I mean, I do enjoy deep sea fishing, but inshore fishing, fishing, I did it once. It was, I caught way more different type of species <clears throat> than I did deep sea, and it, I had a lot awesome. of fun. It was, awesome. it was a good time, and we drove back. Right after the, well, we drove back uh, when I get back. Well, look, not, uh, guys, mark, mark your calendars. Friday, is it Friday the 26th of April? We're going to join the Mid-South Bourbon Brotherhood as they do a barrel pick. Nice. And Memphis. What, uh, what day is that? I that, think it's a that's, Friday. That's a Isn't Friday. Friday Mark? Yeah, I think that's a Friday. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be the at, uh, at a place, the uh, the lead distiller at uh, Old Dominic will be there. And Alex they'll be Castle. doing Alec Castle, and they'll be doing an Old Dominic barrel pick. Cool. And we're, we can all go. I think I'll I'm in signed us up to go. Uh, I, I would good. love to go. It just depends. Uh, we got to figure out big baseball schedule because that's playoff time. <clears throat> I should be good for that. Uh, let me let playoffs. Me, let me read this playoffs. Real quick. No problem. Um, what else? <coughs> we got? What else? I'm not even jumped in the news yet. Yeah, Look you got, at this you right got, here, boy. You jump. Gary. What? So, what's been going on with you? Um, not much. I mean, uh, just <clears throat> been. Uh, we, we did uh, get to. Uh, Welcome our newest uh, family edition. We did have uh, got a niece. My sister in law had a baby. <coughs> so, Praise the Lord. Yep. 
Awesome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yep. That's yep. awesome. Healthy baby girl. She uh, she came over and visited Sunday. Her name's Lindsay. 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 She's named after you. No. Oh, okay. No, no that ain't Poppins. No, nope, not Poppins. Not Gary. You don't have anyone named after Poppins. My son. <laughs> he's yeah. Xander Poppins. No, but he, <laughs> maybe, maybe one day when he's a legal age, he could maybe pop off a little bit, you know. But I, I got a feeling he's gonna be a lot like you. <sighs> he lo- oh, I'm yeah, scared. He acts just yes. like his dad. He he does. He does. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy. He's in, he's in for a rough road, isn't he? He is. All right, let's let's jump into some headlines from the day. Campaign launched to ban Lunchables from school meals as report finds they contain toxic metals. Everything has toxic metals. Let's, yeah. <clears throat> does that mean like Can kids can't? Say does that mean duh. like kids can't bring them to school? I can't or? bring them. No, they don't want you to be able to get them at all. This is some Karen somewhere. Because I bet we've been eating some toxic metals for a long damn well, time. Well, they'll stop doing Lunchables. They'll get the ar- the armor. The uh, you know the cheap Lunchables. <laughs> <laughs> those are those are fifty cents cheaper. The problem is, it's probably Lunchables. It's kind of like when you were, when he, we in the south refer to Coke. Yeah, uh, Coke is anything that say uh, they said Lunchables. Cola, so soda. any soda. Well, any soda. one thing I found is nobody gives a shit about poor people. They don't for affordable food. Boy, you said a mouthful. Say it again for the people in the back. For nobody me. gives a shit about poor. Oh, people. they claim to, don't they? They they like they to claim act it. like they do. But affordable <laughs> food, they want to make harder and harder to get. Bec- or how about this? How yeah. about non-processed food? They make it more and more expensive. Because processed get. food is cheaper than non-processed food. And there's a reason. Why is that? <clears throat> Shelf stability. Yeah. yeah. Stability. It, it has a bunch of shit in it. About the only thing that's <laughs> cheap is bananas. You can, eat, you can get a shit ton of bananas, son. Ramen noodle. Ramen noodle is delicious. So, like, ramen noodles and bananas, you could live off that crap <clears> for but a minute. I, 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 ramen noodles do, does not digest, guys. I'm going to tell you that right now. I've seen people fix their toilets with ramen noodles. Have you seen videos of nope. that? Nope. <laughs> Me and you get that. Like, I, 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 I've broken a toilet with some ramen noodles before. <laughs> our, our, algorithms, <laughs> our algorithms are quite much, different. <laughs> too yes. much cayenne pepper. Yes. 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 Your <laughs> algorithm's way different than my algorithm. I've seen someone replace the porcelain with some ramen noodles on a toilet. I think I saw some oatmeal used for that same apparatus. No, nope, no. Nope, nope. Ramen noodles. I don't think mm-hmm. it digests at all. At all, guys. Mm. It's delicious. But it's not healthy. But I was talking about bananas. Bananas are <clears throat> somewhat healthy, you know. They keep uh, the cramps. Cramps down. Cramps away. Uh, potassium. They're a source give of you potassium. potassium. Um, but healthy foods are expensive. They are. Unprocessed foods are expensive. Unprocessed foods are expensive. It is because it's shelf life. Unless mm. you buy a whole cow. Whole cow is way less expensive than buying meat. By Overall, piece. yeah. Let, let's go buy a half cow, guys. Let's go do it. You need three quarters of that cow. <laughs> Shit, we, need, we need a whole cow or two cows. <laughs> two cows. Yeah. Just feed your house off. <laughs> Country star Morgan Wallen is seen flirting with woman at Nashville Bar moments before he is accused of hurling a chair off the rooftop. We were there on that rooftop before. Uh, that down Jason below at Jason Aldean's, he hurled a chair off. It landed feet away from a police officer. Now, I'm not still sure how they know it was him. but dude, Oh, because I'm sure when that cop came up there, everybody's like, but look, dude's I, facing some real trouble over this. I bet yeah, you had three felonies. Yeah, and it didn't touch anybody. I bet you. Well, it, it don't matter. I mean, you, oh, I know. Hey, I'm glad we wasn't in our spot when we was in Nashville. I, I bet you it was the same safe spot I saved for us, you know? <laughs> there ain't no way. Because exactly. our safe spot had no chairs <laughs> and was barely on. Yeah. We was like, here, guys. <laughs> so, so here's the kicker. What if, what's the odds that due to his legal issues, his performance next week in Oxford gets canceled? Oh, shit. You Could know, you imagine two that was our biggest row? episode up until. So, oh, hell, I'm our biggest gonna, please cancel it. I hope he does cancel it. So, we can talk about it again. Yeah. I'd love look, that. His next, so his this next, guy can't get out of his own way. Yeah, I was going to say, now look, that's the dumbest shit. Well, he ever. dropped the N bomb on camera. Okay, but. No, no, yeah, I'm just saying. But, but, but this is dumb shit. Yes. The this, other stuff's dumb shit, but this is like dumb so shit. So, why do you throw the chair off? Just to he be, was drunk. He was. Because he. he, he Cause he's, cause it just happens. Morgan M. F. Wallen, he can do what he wants. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I'm Gary Pop. I'll do what I want. You Gary <laughs> in Nashville, so <laughs> he's I do what I want. Look, hey, if you'd been there, he would have probably <laughs> throw Gary. He, off he may have, and people been cheering <laughs> it on too. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you would have landed three feet from a cop. <laughs> nope. 
Gary was laying the next couch and picked down. Hey, all I know is that lesbian in a cowboy hat would have whooped his butt if he tried to throw Gary off of the. He'd have been messed up if he tried to throw anybody in our group off. Oh, yeah. We ain't lying. Yeah, right we now. had some enforcers in that group. Yeah, that that, <laughs> that that dude. Hey, look, they've been that. They've been that. Uh, I can't talk. They've been <laughs> the night yeah. we let the uh, liquor talk. <laughs> yeah, no, no. he's never seen Gary Poppins ride a uh, or Gabriel no, ride a bull. Like how either. stable oh. I was up on that junk. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, help us. Anyway, Morgan, get your shit together, buddy. Come on, guy. Look, popular enough, dude's an idiot apparently, but he's a rich idiot. Which he may not even be that rich. Hey, I'm gonna pl- show okay, you a okay. video. It's just like there's a right. varying degree of that. He's a hell of a lot richer in this room, no doubt, no doubt, no diggity, mind. no diggity. Right, so there's now a viral yeah. video. This lady, I'm gonna put it up on the screen. Let's go with this one. It's just, so, oh, I saw this video. Right, so her name is Elisa Jordana, and her husband or boyfriend Ooh, admitted to like, like mess. Oh no, check it out. No, it's her boyfriend, and then. Look, he he don't take it though, and but she he got ta- a truck. He takes look, it he way boom, longer boom, than I would boom, have. Boom, boom. She popped him in the nose. But, but look, he don't give a damn if she driving and grab it by the hair by the head. But she got arrested when they got to where they're going. Good and good. Uh, yeah, was that like anyway. a dash cam that was ca- catching all that? They were probably recording a YouTube episode or something. And she started beating him down, beating his ass. Look, he went w- like the full video. He takes a couple of licks before he decides. Damn, I've had enough. If my wife would have done that to me, I'd just open the you, door and roll down. You would <laughs> <laughs> you know, apologize. Tuck and roll. Stop. You can have this whole car and everything. <laughs> Tuck and roll. Oh, Man, God. I like crawling shopped her and her throat. Man. Y'all don't realize how strong my wife's arms are. <laughs> <laughs> Look. All I, all I know I'm is bleeding, <laughs> son. All I know is I'd have told him my hands identify as women. <laughs> Poor Gary. I know she's she's strong. You know what? Today marks a marks a milestone though for the Arkansas Razorbacks. That's why I got my hat on. That's exactly right. John Calipari, Calipari, Calipari. They keep saying Calipari, but I'm Calipari. 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 Y'all better figure it out though. John Calipari arrives in Fayetteville to greet his team of one. He has (laughs) one player (laughs) who happens to be a walk on. Remaining a true Arkansas Razorback. He's going to get some playing time for that. I'm going to tell you that. Oh, hell no. He won't even see the <laughs> so, floor by the time fall gets here. So let me tell you what. If <laughs> When I tell you this player's name, he don't sound like a baller. His name's Landon uh, Blake. Blake. Yeah, this dude ain't going to be. Balake. I mean, uh, Balake Landon yeah. Balake. I bet Coach Calipari goes, uh, let's do. <laughs> let's check the roster. Landon Balake. And dude's like. <laughs> Are we sure this guy Landon wasn't a ball boy that Balake. just stepped in? <laughs> it's, he's a, he's a walk on. Look, we had a walk on transfer. Yeah, this walk on <laughs> said, "I'm hitting the portal, y'all." I go walk on. I go walk on. I'm walking off. I'm gonna go walk on at Duke. <laughs> I walk off here and walk hey, right on now Duke. he's the leading scorer. He's set to be rebounds. a starter, leading rebounds. Damn. Hey, you know, all, all bullshit aside, though, uh, it's a home run hire. It, 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 it is. is. I'll tell you who don't like it. Memphis fans. Memphis. Ooh, Kentucky that. fans. Memphis fans. Oh, Kentucky I, don't seem to be so upset. Yeah, like, they're, like they're they, going to land a whale. They're going to, I think they're going to get shocked and smart. But it was Call 15 it right now. years mm-hmm. ago he left Memphis and they salty. They're like, all right, Arkansas, <laughs> he's going to do you like he did us. I seen a shirt today. I wish I would have sent it. A shirt? Yeah, somebody had a shirt shirts? that said, I can't remember what it said, but it, said it, Memphis it was sucks. funny. I should have <laughs> sent it. Look, Memphis, Memphis, get over it. Get over it. He took you places you ain't been in a, maybe ever. And then the NCAA took it away from you, so you never went. <laughs> <laughs> Today, that stuff's legal, guys. So, the things- so like, one of my favorite things I've ever heard, and I'm, I'm not a Cal- Coach Cal fan. I'm really not. Uh, but you will be. No, I'm glad he's at Arkansas. Don't get me wrong. The man wins. But when he left uh, Memphis, he was in, in an interview at, Kentucky, and they said, well, you know, what do you think about um, so-and-so year being uh, taken away? He said, hell, that sounds like it's going to be a 51 of 50. <laughs> hey, look, you know the only way Hunter Gear check tops this is if this time next year he says, I want to introduce Nick Saban as coach of the <laughs> Arkansas Razorback, boy. <clears throat> look, let's – so uh, on a good note, 
So his uh, his pay structure is um, oh, seven, it's pretty nice. That's seven million a year. He took a pay cut. He took mm-hmm. a one point five million a year pay cut. Uh, but he has six, I think it's almost six million in nil money. Mm. And he gets if he makes it to the playoffs or the uh, the uh, tournament, or if he makes it how far he gets incentives, and then like compounded by years of making it to the tournament. So yeah, it's a pretty nice structured contract, I think. Yeah, but uh, more importantly, as a, as a Razorback fan. They're saying that this money, not this money, but there's also going to be equal amount set in for football. Nice. Yep. Question. So all this is uh, brought to us by the Tyson people. So look. So go, you know go, what? Go eat Tyson. What, what's the coach from Michigan that went to be a coach at San Diego? Um, Harbaugh. Mm-hmm. Jim Harbaugh. So he'll say he sucks for two years San Diego. Mm-hmm. Then Hunter goes and brings him to Arkansas. I go for that. Look, too. just put the NIL money in what we got. Uh, people can probably win if we pay players. Maybe. You got to have players. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, Gary. We're talking ahead. about Arkansas sports. I'm trying to help you guys out because, you know, us Buckeyes ain't got stuff you guys have to worry about. You know. Uh, like winning. Like winning. Yeah. Yeah, you but, don't have uh, to worry about so, that. So, so, you know, you guys got some you guys got some nice good coaches this past year. So, football One football is coaches. really the, ne- the next thing. So, uh, coming up. So, <clears throat> what would you guys say would be the over-under of the amount of neck braces <clears throat> showing up on the first game? Neck braces. How no, many? None. I guarantee you there will be over a thousand neck braces the first game. A thousand. Uh, th- who are we playing? It doesn't matter who we you're playing. Play I, like bet you Arca- I bet you Arkansas fans be wearing neck braces. No, no, no they won't. No, but opposing, they will. opposing teams will. No. I bet you Arkansas fans. I guarantee there you will see Arkansas be somebody fans. There. Yes, there will. Arkansas fans, neck braces. Oh, we play Arkansas Pine Bluff. Oh, yeah, they're wearing neck we braces. We play A State next year. Oh, A State. Dude, our schedule is like. It's Arkansas Pine Bluff, Arkansas State, <laughs> UAB, Auburn. Oh, we play Arkansas State this year? Uh, no, Arkansas Pine Bluff, Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State. Mm. Yeah. Auburn, Texas a m Tennessee. Um, Neck braces out of that game. Who else we got? <laughs> Texas, be a big game. Louisiana Tech. You know, last <laughs> time we played, they may beat our ass. So, I think um, I think we need – I think we need six wins for, uh, uh, for the Pitt Boston State. Yeah. And you if go, he, you got to go bowling. If he leaves, if you have a good offense. Well, he ain't going to leave if, 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 if we he gets do. fired. Bobby Petrino will be coaching it the year after. I don't know. I don't know because don't if, know. If, because if our team's not good, uh, if our team's so bad, we got to find a coach and I'm going to keep the if offense. Your, if your offense like, is on fire, I, I only you see, can. I only see four four to five. Name them off. Let's, let's, get, look, let's name them off. All right. Arkansas, Pine Bluff. Win. win. Arkansas, Oklahoma State. Loss. That's an iffy to me. That, that's a, that's a defense because I, they lost a lot. UAB. Yeah. Oh, that's a win. Win. <clears throat> Auburn. Loss. Win. That's a loss. Win. I think it's a win. Texas A&M. Loss. They can't be Texas A&M. Win. win. Tennessee. No, we ain't loss. Tennessee. Loss. No, loss. loss. LSU. Nope. Loss. 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 Mississippi State will win. 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 Ole Miss. Nope. Loss. Loss. Nope. Texas. Nope. Nope. Win. Louisiana Tech will win. And then Missouri, they're rebuilding. Yeah. Missouri stout. Four or five. I got, I got That's six. I, I got, got four or five wins. I got six wins. I, I went the other way last year, and it, they. Man. I had ten wins last year. I'm I going. Think, yeah. You are gonna get six wins this year. I got six wins. You're gonna six. Wins. I like. I, I think between Auburn, A uh, and I, I mean, I think we'll win one of those. I think Auburn I, and A and M will both be better. I think you'll beat but Auburn. Why? Auburn was good. They just. They was close to being good. A and M got a new coach. They're always better with a new coach. Yeah, you just haven't beat A and M like ever. Yeah, we did. We used to own A and M. Not well, like the last five years. I, I wish we think. played Ohio State every year. Yeah, I wish y'all Me did too. too. Yeah, Me too. We would own yeah. that Buckeye oh, ass. What's what's y'all's record against Ohio State recently? One and zero, oh, baby. No. Yes, it is. No, it's zero and zero. <laughs> it's zero no, and zero. No, we got. But the unofficially, win. it's zero oh and one. <laughs> No, unofficially. No, 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 unofficial. Unofficially, you y'all were cheating. Vacate. Y'all should have never. Everybody knew that guy should have been playing. Don't worry about cheating. Power, baby. We winners. We winners, baby. Cheaters. Just win, Cheaters. baby. You couldn't cheat Michigan, though, because that cost me a thousand damn dollars. <sighs> the, my big bad beats this year are Michigan and North Carolina screwed me in the NCAA Man. tournament. Golly. Um, That's about a $4,000 swing. It is. <sighs> wow. That's life changing. Yeah. I didn't bet that much, but damn. <laughs> Anyway. Egg on parlays will get you. You know, you know I think TikTok's about dead. I agree. 
Has anybody uh, been paying attention to TikTok? Now they got these uh, commercials nope. that pop up. Right. I, I I like I would be doing things and you're like, let me check TikTok and I'll literally spend five minutes and go, eh. Yeah, I don't get on TikTok much anymore. It's uh, yeah. so now when I post a video, I can't tag people. Like you're it? Have you noticed that when I post videos, y'all haven't been uh, no, attached to it? I can't tag you anymore. Probably you've been banned. You know, you have a history <laughs> of doing bad things. You've been permanently TikTok. banned from doing oh, no. any action. You ain't got the best run with TikTok. Yeah, but. they're like, Father but. Fortenberry, this guy, we got to limit his access. Yeah, look, like that one, that, look, we got like, um, like mass banned at uh, one point. I, I, I that was it. the peak. I consider when we mm. were last we were year making, money, making bank and TikTok, we had, we was on it like three times a week. To me, that was peak of TikTok, and since then they banned. Well, I, I pissed off some old uh, obese blue hair woman, and uh, boy, she went on there and she mass uh, reported all her videos. Look at that! And then think about the thing about TikTok. Troll, <clears throat> trolls yeah, the thing about TikTok is they don't look at it to see if it's an issue. They just ban. So them. What, what he's telling, he got us banned again without telling so, us. Tell us you got us banned again without <laughs> telling us you got us banned again. <laughs> Like, <laughs> look, we're look, not going three zero. I'm these, done. If we go to three zero, we're, we're done. One of these days, y'all be sitting around. Oh, y'all remember when Jamie was in the <laughs> middle of the TikTok wars uh, of twenty twenty four? Yeah, twenty twenty four TikTok wars. Man, they're like, Daddy or Granddad, what did you do? <laughs> oh, so I sent some mean, uh, <laughs> some awful memes. Some awful memes. He'll blame it on us. Yeah, <laughs> I told the lady she had elbow cleavage. That really got us banned that for got like you. a week. It did get us banned for a week. I, I th- actually, I think I said, "Look at them it sausage like fingers. hams." Yeah, that was what I said. She said, uh, "Ham arms." <laughs> you got Gary tickled. Uh, that's funny. Gary's oh, sad. ham arms and elbow cleavage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, we got a treat for you tonight. We are sampling uh, something Marty and I picked up this weekend at the uh, Spillway. It's the Crittenden's Cut Above, the Mississippi Sipper Stogie Batch. Is that Crittenden um, County? A blend of bourbon whiskeys and cognac, armagnac, and port barrels finished in Anjo tequila barrel. Well, I said that shit right, too. Five-year bourbon coming in at 112 proof. Hold on, what's this? Oh, Ooh, that's a nice... Uh, Anejo. Look, I got this little... Let's take a little smell I got here. this little weak-ass... Uh, I bought those for, like, when we travel somewhere. I, I know, I know. What, the bottle? No, the little sample, the little... Dude, uh, that oh. smells good. It is good. I'm telling you, nobody don't sleep on Crittenden's. Especially, we got the toasted bear, toast pecan. It's really good, I'm gonna too. Get, I'm going to get Marty to. How many states is this in, Terry? Do you know? It's not. This was a Mississippi Sippers. This was a special edition, so this is a private barrel, and it's sold out. <laughs> Look at my glass. You probably got more than the rest of it. It's a communion cup. Glass. I know. I'm thinking the bl- uh, <laughs> it's Father It's Father Fortenberry. Well, well, now we're going to use your glass. Use your glass. Oh, okay. I'm going to do mine in 3D, uh, guys. You, you can do it. Uh, in 3D. I can't see shit these things. I, I got them like reading glasses. I thought we were all doing those glasses. I'm sorry. <laughs> Always waiting on Marty. Oh, I didn't know he had a travel. I forgot he had a travel move. That's good. Oh, nice. Nice. Right. Like, Gary, me, Gary, tell us about the nose. Let me check the legs on the it. The nose? The nose? Gary, Gary, you can tell us about the nose. Jamie, check between the legs on it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I still smell the liquor in it, you know. You know, I'm surprised, but I do too. No, I, guess I'm on, I guess I'm on my nose. I cut off. It smells sweet, though. Man, that is a. All I get is sugar on this. Like, I get brown sugar. sugar. I get yeah. cherry. Powder brown sugar. I get I'm like sugar. Gary for some reason. I get the alcohol. <laughs> Maybe sugar. Why do we eat donuts? I guess, like, I guess a powdered sugar. A pound of sugar. Powdered sugar. All oh, powdered sugar. I don't get no heat. It's a five-year bourbon, boy. Boy, I tell you what, that boy. That smells good. Did you know I'll that? Wait till you taste it. Did you know powdered sugar can be used for delousing? <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, actually, I had no idea of that. J- Jamie, Jamie, I, I got it. I got it. Marty, this is better than I remember it being at the store. We sampled it at the store. <sighs> the, the nose smells alcoholic. Right. I got to tell you though, it, it tastes way better than it smells. Open your mouth, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my we, wife we, does. We, like, <laughs> no, we did. All right. Um, the heat goes away quick. I, what, I, what? Never, I don't even get a hug off of the. No, the I got. I got. I got a brief hug. Um, I like my was like mm-hmm. heartburn. Okay, that's solid. But I've got a good. I've got an earthy taste. It's got a good earthy taste. See, it does. I, uh, it I does. don't get that. It's got. Earthy. Don't tell what I taste. Yeah, I, I'm, gonna ta- I'm gonna tell what you what taste? I taste. 
Sweet tea. Like tea like leaves. Me. Like tea like leaves. Like if I put my finger in your mouth. It'd yeah. Be a sweet tea. Like a sweet <laughs> tea. <laughs> huh? How would you I taste, I taste like like tea. Like Lipton tea. I don't know why I taste it. <laughs> you're gonna have to say you gotta stop saying I taste tea. <laughs> Cause you're gonna taste tea. <laughs> you know what? I taste tea as well. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? So, uh, um, don't you think? I gotta say, it's really good. It's I, good. I, I do. I do like it. I like it. it it's A really lot. good. I definitely have had much, 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 much worse. You know. Uh, from one to a hundred, this is in that eighty-five range. This is punk poking this up there, boys. Really boy. solid. This is a unique bottle. You can't get this bottle just anywhere. Mars about to spill it out there. With he you. sure is. There ain't no top on it. Look, I try to say the proof, and I can't see because I ain't got my glasses. It's one eighteen. Hey, here you go, Marty. You can use mine. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, we cut off the show too early. You are on a roll. It man. is one eighteen. On fire, son. I told you that. Point five. Okay, so almost 119. That's solid right there. Oh, here's the actual. <laughs> um, I like that. Is that the right cork? I'll tell you what, I I have been really working on this uh, broken barrel and I'm I'm digging it, dude. You know, I like I like the lights in mine. So that is a really young one, isn't it? Yeah, it's only two years. But, but they it's had good. The, it's yeah, not they, bad. I well, saw somebody else had done that. But look, this Crittenden's if if you you look, hey, I tell you what, if you want to sample, let us know. We'll yeah. send you a sample. We'll send you a sample. Hey, Matt Crittenden's got it figured out. He's done a good he job. He does all this by himself. We we also got the uh, Toast to Pecan, which is even more rare than Stogie Batch that we'll be sampling on there probably We'll probably do that next future. week. Yeah, but, um, and look, we're going to sample just our whole collection, Marty, and I got it, Spillway. So, I, anybody, uh, I know we're not doing a full show here, but anybody knows on Only Drams, you can do a, um, let me go to Only Drams real quick. The Roll the Dice? Yes. <laughs> What is that? Roll the dice. Tells you what to try. Yeah, yeah, look, look here, look here. I like it. Yeah. No, so okay, any, that's awesome. So anybody that that's has only drams, go to. Um, no, because it'll probably look, be something look, I didn't look, have open. Right here in the top corner, mm -hmm. you got the dice. Pick my pour, and it'll do everything in your collection. Really? So let's see what it tells me to drink. It tells me this a blue note uh, crossroads. So look, I'm gonna put the links to all of our only drums in the YouTube video today. Uh, I'm life. <laughs> oh, and tell me get some over it. Look what he showed me <laughs> to drink. Don't do it. Don't open it. I can't Pick drink it no real. It told me to get E.H. Taylor small bag. Some George Dickel. So so Owen Drams is a pretty sweet app. It is. I like it. So I, look, I, follow I me. I, I, he follows you. I think I am. No, I'm telling the people oh, out there oh, to follow me. I do yeah, follow you. Live from the patio dash, dash Big T. We got the Bourbon Nerd, I think, over here. Yeah, Bourbon Nerd. They, they, they do have a nice setting on it where you can put it in as it's opened or unopened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes. I would really like it if... This is improvement for the app, I think. If Olin Drams, you listen. Twice, my Where it shows my on the side bag. of it a bottle that's like half empty if it's opened. Like that you know I've opened this bottle. Maybe we should start our own. You know what? Another thing is when you empty a bottle, it's still on there. Yeah. It stays it, on it there? Don't, it don't go off. It yeah. still shows it you got that I, many bottles. I have several empty bottles yeah. now in mine. Yeah. I mean, there, there's some improvements, but it's a great app. It's a great app. Follow us. I'm going to put the links down below. Um, look, why 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 are all the the liberal women so ugly though? I have usually very I wouldn't few say that, all are ugly. Okay. that's very you're that's right. A that's very a very encompassing. Yeah, so that, the, why the majority of them ugly? So, uh, well, <sighs> is it like they look a certain while they say, you know what, <laughs> I just give up? You would, you know, you'd kind of think maybe they went out of their way to be that way, but it's not. So no, I so. I think. What is there? It's just. Bottle kill. Oh, bottle kill. I think it is a terrible thing to say, but I think they look a certain way and they want to try to fit in with somebody. But yeah, as long but as look, there is somebody for everybody. There is. Yeah, but as long as you're not uh, straight and white in a male, you can fit in that group. I believe a straight white male could fit in that group. Yeah, they had to be a uh, docile, submissive. It had to be, yeah, it had to be submissive. So Gary could be that. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, Gary, Gary's a closet liberal. <laughs> ah, y'all don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I got y'all uh, bad. Y'all even know. But I love liberals. <laughs> I love their body. Really, I, I, I wish. You we, love their bodies? I just wish people wouldn't. And I will say this. So 
liberals seem to be more like, oh no, hate, rep- hate conservatives. Conservatives don't hate liberals. They don't. No, nah, we're more of we like, make fun of them, but sure. we, don't we just get more like liberals. annoyed. But I'm, annoyed. I'm not conservative either, though. I don't consider no, us conservative. I, I think we're more centrist, but in that world, we're considered centrist. Well, well, that, that's the thing. But with the polarization we have going on right now, you're either one or the other. Yeah, you, and that's not the good mentality. You can't have. be moderate. I mean, moderate is conservative today. Uh, it is. Look, it is. I'll say something on TikTok, and they're you conservative piece of shit. I'm like. I'm not even concerned. People are so hateful on TikTok, too. Boy, they are. They but are so these hateful. are the same people that if, if you jumped at them in real life, they'd just crumple and call yeah, the cops. They, they won't know because they stay locked inside in real mm-hmm. life. They they don't go out. So most of drugs. TikTok are wallflowers who are terrified to go out or like my step-grandmother who goes on there and just... She's not on TikTok. Thank God. She's on Facebook. <laughs> she though. wanted somebody to show her how to use TikTok and they refused to. She, she's on TikTok. My she's cousin said, oh, no, my cousin told her, like, no, we, no, you we, ain't we TikTok. Ain't yeah, we're talking about Vivian. Maybe she listens, actually. Hey, Vivian, we, we do love you, Vivian. We you, just cr- you, you just, wow. She a wild woman. She'll tell you my, what she I, still, I, was, I think I've said this multiple times. My favorite post she's ever put on Facebook was <laughs> a picture of Tropic Thunder, and it said, somebody get some love for the Vietnam vets. <laughs> You know, uh, <laughs> and she, I mean, she had no clue. Oh, uh, but but look, she finds she, I get a lot of information from her, like who died, yeah, who's out well, town yeah, and parking, yeah. all that she's stuff. She's like, who's sick, need some prayers. She was like, uh, got so and so's out of town for the next three weeks. Uh, yeah. y'all wish, it, yeah, y'all be safe. <laughs> y'all be safe. Yeah, look, yeah, don't mess with their do, house while they're gone. Y'all be, be like, like, no house raids. Where they live at, <laughs> yo. Yo, they got some so tires. So-and-so at, at, at 1213 uh, Parker Street is out of town for the next four weeks. Right, they got some tires stacked up outside. Let's go by and get some tires that they have stacked up outside. We uh, might can burn them in look, the backyard. You know, that's going to be us one day. Old, just not know what's going on around us. No, you're going to be old and be on, like, Life in the Patio version 18,345 <laughs> because you're going to keep trolling. Father Fort and Bay Little Park more. Woo, pig suing, <laughs> baby. We got Coach Cal on the hill. Can we get Gary to say that, too? We Part, Woo is Pixel? your part in words Woo Pixel? No, it will not be. It's all right. It's all right. right. So, <laughs> here's my project. Bro, bro, yeah. My prediction. Your projection. My projection. Same your projection. Thing. My projection for next year. Arkansas Sweet Sixteen. With wow. the, we have no players right now, but Sweet Sixteen. Gary. Guys, do not forget to watch your Masters this weekend. Okay. Uh, my guy right now. Is Ty Woo. That's Ty Woo won Ty Woo. That sounds that sound like a problematic Change statement. Ty Woo. Start third. Mark, you got 10 minutes. All air time. Oh, so I got all of it. Okay. Uh, Razor Bay's going to be in uh, Elite Eight next year. And basketball. And and football, we're going to be over 500. So you need to be in late, Elite Eight in football next year, too. How about that? Um, we could. Look, thank you all for watching. Hit the like button. Go subscribe. Tell your friends about us. Tell everybody else about us. Life, we are life in the patio and whoever else we might be in the future. Life in the patio, we out of here. We gone.